Telling sad news about Carrie's transportation director, prosecutors say Lori Cove is on life support this afternoon after being run over while cycling on Monday. The man accused of hitting Cove and another cyclist made his first court appearance today. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson was in the courtroom when the suspect learned of the severity of the crash. Just a couple of hours ago, Christopher Moore walked into court at the Wake County Justice Center knowing he was accused of hitting two women who were on their bicycles. Then a prosecutor informed him one was on life support, wasn't expected to survive. Sir, you're here charged with felony hit and run, two counts. It's a class H felony. You can receive up to 39 months in prison for this. Online records show this is Moore's 18th arrest in Wake County since 2007. Before that, he spent time behind bars for three different DWI convictions. The system is just not uh, not working. One time, it, it's not forgivable, but, uh, but three times, just something needs to be done. David Carlton at Cycling Spoken Here is a former Charlotte police officer. He says 39 months is not a severe punishment for a crash where witnesses say Moore drove away. A guy just came in my neighborhood and with a bicycle stuck to his windshield. And the bicycle was stuck on his car? Yes, and now the, it's stuck at the bottom of our cul-de-sac. And he threw it out, and I said, is everything okay? And he said, yeah, and then took off. Other cyclists are still in shock about what happened. I think it's terrible if people are allowed to keep their license after having multiple infractions. I don't know what the solution is. You have no protection as a cyclist, do you? I mean, you get hit. You're in, you know, you're, you could be in pretty big trouble. One of the cyclists told me he'd like for everyone to spend just a single day using a bicycle as their main form of transportation just to see what cyclists put up with. In Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS, North Carolina.